stand-up comedy set or graffiti or a dance. Uh, I'm Farooq Atesh and I'm a designer and a developer. Uh, I've been working in the web for about 12 years, uh, maybe 15 years almost actually. The first decade was definitely, uh, it was definitely very a dark ages uh, kind of decade where we were trying to figure out everything still and we had no idea what we were doing. I mean people people roughly knew where things were supposed to be going but you know getting the browser vendors to agree on things was really difficult and wasn't happening much um, CSS wasn't even around for for the first half of the first decade JavaScript didn't come around for the first half and it was all very early stages and we knew this platform had a lot of potential and there was a lot of power to it and we wanted to take advantage of that but the technologies themselves were still being developed and were anything but mature. In the, the second decade, we kind of got to maturing those technologies, maturing web standards and understanding how web standards play into everything, standardizing the technologies that we're using, getting every, every uh, browser vendor to agree on these things, implement the standards, make them actually, you know, make their browsers behave according to these standards and that allowed web developers to start building more advanced and more mature websites as well. So now we're seeing with the third decade what's coming up is that hopefully at least we'll see a lot more people making tools and using tools that actually allow us to create better products, create better websites with less effort rather than more effort. The vendor prefix situation is definitely a, a big problem for a lot of developers and there are only really two tools that help at all, uh, SAS and LESS, are, which are both uh, CSS preprocessors and they allow you to write CSS in kind of like a programming language environment, giving you more power, more flexibility, more capability. And then SAS has a plugin called Compass, which really helps with the vendor prefixes uh, situation in that you only have to write one line, uh, a one line CSS property or declaration and it'll do all the vendor prefixed versions for you no matter how their syntaxes might differ it'll figure it out for you, you only have to keep like your compass and your SAS installation up to date and that's a really big and powerful thing uh, that kind of tool that helps you and empowers you in that way making it easier for you to do things the right way and making it easier for you to get your, the job done without having to spend more time on it. Like that's the kind of tools that we really need more of. Uh, the potential. There's, uh, there's a lot of things we can do with making information accessible to people that we're not really doing yet. We're not taking advantage of the web uh, as much as we can. And I think there's a huge amount of potential for really reshaping the way information works in our society and I think the web will be crucial in, in making that possible and that, that excites me.